Hey everybody, I'm making this video because the Cal football program is in trouble. And this I don't mean to say anything negative about Coach Wilcox of a personal nature. I like Justin Wilcox personally. This is not about that. This is about our program. This is about Cal's football program that has been headed in a constant nosedive direction. And the, our recruiting rankings have shown it. Our play on the field has shown it. And we start off with great promise at times, and it always leads to a great failure. Sure, being Stafford for the big game is great, but I thought we were past that bit of candy a long time ago. I mean, a very long time ago. And at one point, we sell for nothing less than an appearance for the, in the Rose Bowl. That's how a lot of us rolled. Now, it should be a national championship because with all the constant moving chairs and change, I think it should be quite evident that the ability for Cal to achieve the level of national champion is better than it's ever been. And you would say, what am I talking about? I'm saying simply that our players are not being coached well enough to be competitive on the field. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that we can get a person who understands how to build a quarterback, has a track record of building quarterbacks, and a track record of being a head coach in football at the professional level with the XFL, worked in college at, in Michigan, worked at Stanford, we all know who Pep M. Hamilton is. Pep Hamilton is now 49 years old, and he is at the NFL Network, when he really should have a high-ranking job somewhere. Why not Cal? So what I'm saying is, let's just stop the insanity and make a change. Bring in Pep Hamilton midseason, let him grow into the program, manage it, work it, and then get us ready for a transfer to the ACC, because right now we're not ready, okay? When I'm saying, when I say we're not ready, I'm saying we're not ready to face the constant onslaught of competition from a group of football programs ran by people who actually eat, sleep, and drink football, okay? That's what I'm saying. Pep understands enough to know that he doesn't have to do a lot to get a lot because he knows what to do. He doesn't have to make any sudden or, tri or, or greater trick moves. He understands what he has to do. So he can arrive on the scene and chart a course very quickly that will put us in a better position to win now. I'm not saying that he would do it this season right off the bat. But I am saying that if you're bringing him in or just simply say, look, yeah, bring him in midseason and get him acclimated to the university while you have Mr. Wilcox there. And, and at the end, Mr. Wilcox is given the appropriate you know, severance. Then we can go about making sure that Mr. Hamilton has the right structure from which to build the Cal football program to take on the new competitors that we will face when we enter the ACC. And that's coming, you know, like what? Yeah, next year. So, hey, what are we waiting for? Pull the trigger now. Every time I turn around, our current head coach's name is on the trend, and it's not for a good reason. Again, Everyone loves Justin Wilcox. That's not what this is about. We felt for him when his squad suffered over the heavy handedness of the Berkeley health rules regarding COVID. But on the other hand, he did turn around and try to get a job with our rival Oregon. Now, some say the Oregon made him the offer, but my point is, Somebody out there made it known that he was available as opposed to not touching him. Who did that? Okay. 
and why. It wasn't the first time that happened either. So again, my point is, we don't have time for this sort of thing. We've got to make a change. He's had a lot of time, ample time, to really arrive on the scene, chart a course, and set us on a path where we can look out next year with excitement and expect to win something. We have no expectations. There's no excitement. Every game is, well, we're going to lose. Let's hope we win. I've been through that before. A number of us have. We don't want to go back to that. There's no reason to. Look at the impact that Deion Sanders has had on Colorado. Everybody gets up to play for Colorado. So Colorado is getting everyone's A game, all right? But the reason why Colorado is getting everyone's A game is because they were putting an A effort on the field with new players, all right? And, and they gave Colorado an identity that translated into one thing, dollar signs. We need a change. We need to come into the modern era and stop this messing around. That's, that's my view of this. But we, we are really ha hammered and harmed by this, this inability or lack of desire to really turn around and say, okay, what are we doing here? Uh, and how are we going to approach this? Why are we not approaching this in the proper way? Ask those questions, come up with the answer the same time that we ask the question, and then make the change pull the trigger. We act more like we're afraid to do so or passive aggressive. And that has not, that has been with us for quite some time. We've got to stop being passive aggressive. We have got to, I'm saying we've got to focus on making a change at the top. I would love to hear your reasons why we shouldn't do this. It's not personal. It's only business. Because right now, at the business of football, we're not doing well. We need to do better. That's the problem. You know it. As Cal people, I know it. We need to do better. So I say, let's go and get Pep Hamilton. He's on the NFL Network now. What's he doing on the NFL Network? He was offensive coordinator for the Houston Texans. He did the best he could amid the whole Deshaun Watson matter, not having Deshaun. And there was no reason for the Texans to not retain, nothing against D'Amico Ryan, but to retain Pep and say, hey, to D'Amico, use this young man. All right? No reason for that. At all. So as much as I'm happy that he has a job, it shouldn't be with the NFL Network. It should be as head coach of the Cal football team program. All right. I'll see you later.